This video will demonstrate how to create a report using the report wizard. First, we will need to select a create tab within the ribbon. Next, you will need to click on the report wizard button. Now you're going to want to select the table slash query that you want to pull the data from. And for me, it will be the patient table. And now I'm going to choose the fields. And if you're going to wonder why I'm not just going to choose all and just take away the ones I don't want, it's because I want them in a specific order. So first I want the patient ID, then I want first name, next last, last name, sitting, birth date, phone, and now I want fields from a different table. So I'm going to click the arrow here, select the visit table. This time, I want to select all the fields. Keep in mind, I want to make sure that I have the phone field selected so they will go below the phone field. Now, one field that I will remove is this visit.patientID. Since we already have the patient ID, I no longer need that. Now, we'll click Next. I'm going to want to view the data by patient, so I'm just going to click Next. Here, you can choose additional grouping. I don't need that at this time, so I'll go ahead and click Next. Now I can choose to sort the data, which I want to. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow. And I'm going to choose Visit Date. And I'm going to leave it ascending. Click Next. The layout of the report I can choose Step, I can choose Block, and I can choose Outline. As you can see, when I'm selecting these, the preview is showing you what the outcome would look like. I'm going to choose Outline. I click Next. I want to call the report Patients and Visits. I do want to preview the report. I'm going to click Finish. And now I have a preview of the Patients and Visits report. Now you know how to create a report using the Report Wizard. Have a great day.